Hello and welcome to the Scouse Science Podcast. My name is Professor Tom Solomon. My guests today are Sharon Emesu and Dr. Dan Wooten. Do you want to say hello, guys? Hello. Hello. And it's great to see we've got some messages coming in from people from all over the place. My mum's made it again. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for joining. <laughs> She's the number one fan. I'd be very surprised if we don't see outbreaks that require increased measures in local areas. Mm-hmm. Um, quite when they will occur is difficult to predict. Can you sing outside? Are you allowed to sing in the church grounds? I'm sure you're able to sing in the church grounds from a socially distanced way. Maybe that's the thing to do at the end of the Maybe service. Maybe that's the solution. Everyone, everyone yeah. get out and have a... Dan, are and you a singer? A sing uh, you, you buy me a couple of drinks, I'll, I'll sing this song. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout the hospital, you know, it's been a real challenge and we've had really sad events, funeral cortèges coming past the front of the hospital where members of our staff had died. Of course, it's horrendous. COVID is horrendous. Its impact is horrendous. But what I've been immediately impressed by and buoyed by has been community spirit. Dan, what's your feeling about how this this city will respond and cope? I don't know the fine detail of the economics of it, but I think, uh, you know, there's huge resilience and creativity and ingenuity within the city. One of the things I've been impressed with is how many companies are thinking outside the box and changing their business model and changing how they do things. We knew we, we should talk about football. I, Sharon's oh, looking no. very unhappy at this moment. We may lose her altogether. <laughs> Dan, da- <laughs> Dan, um, do you do you go along and sing on the terraces when, when I you do? I do. So I I have a membership at Liverpool Football Club. During this lockdown period, we've had the resurgence of the the Black Lives Matter movement. Because mm, the Black Lives Matter marches have had everyone out, I think. Whereas previously, yeah. they would have just been mostly black people that were out. Mostly black people, absolutely. My hope, my sincere hope, is that we have. We have crossed a line beyond which we cannot return.